Hi, what is the difference between beginner, intermediate, and advanced slash expert diamond art paintings? Stay tuned. Today we're going to talk about what the heck is the difference between the different levels of diamond painting? I've often wondered that because it just seems like open and shut. You look for the letter, find the diamond, put it on your pen, put it on the canvas that corresponds with that diamond. Well, let's take a look and see. All right, we have here a, chi uh, a beginner, clearly for a child, a beginner for anybody. I mean, really, this is for anybody too, but beginner. And this one says intermediate. This is a diamond dot one that you find in like Walmart's or Joann's, something like that. And advanced slash expert. I was like, what is the difference of the levels? I really don't know. So let's take a look. Okay. This one, standard toolkit, no biggie. And they all come with the same toolkit. This is a take two. That's why they're all not going to have toolkits. The first one we did, we didn't have sound. <laughs> Go figure. All right. Here is our teddy bear. He's Woodland Bear by Diamond Dots. The drill field looks about the same. No biggie. And the drills nothing special about the drills there's not even any ABs in here or fairy dust no special gems it's a beginner this is one of the beginner type kits. So we're going to put this, the toolkit, frame, the instructions, all back in the box because we don't need them. We're going to refer to the canvas and the drills. Next is this other beginner kit. See, same toolkit. This one I'm doing in an event with Lorraine. And we are going to do a live. She's having technical difficulties, but stay tuned and we will, I will announce when we're going to do our live. Here's the ice cream by Leisure Arts, classified as a beginner. See the drill field? They look about the same. All right. Well, maybe it's the drills. All right. This is a beginner kit with one AB. So if the difficulty has to do with AB drills or fairy dust, that throws that point right out the window because this one has an AB and this one doesn't. So if somebody knows why, please let me know in the comments. Here's our AB and these drills look the same.
as these drills. They don't look any different. These are nice and round. Yep, nice and round drills. Flat on the bottom, little divots in the bottom. So I think that means they're acrylic. And these actually have some facets on them. So that's kind of cool. These are not completely round drills. I don't know if you can see that. They're not completely round. These have some facets. Let's see. Okay, see if you can, I don't know if you can see it, but there's some facets on those. So they're not smooth. They're not smooth on the top. So again, so what these would be your very basic drills. And they're actually a little more fancy. This is the Woodland, Woodland Bear drills. And these are really round. No facets. but it has one AB. Huh. And the back of this says 24 facet gems, but I don't see any facets on these. They look completely smooth on the top, completely smooth and shiny, but I don't see like, like it has sides on the top, like those do to the bear. Okay, so this is our ice cream and the bear. So we're gonna put those right there. Now this one is intermediate. And these are all partials. I picked out all partials just for this so we can compare apples to apples. Now this one doesn't say anything about facets. It just says intermediate. And then the toolkit's been removed, but it was the same. So this one has color blocking, like the Woodland Bear, and the ice cream does not have a lot of color blocking. Come on, it keeps wanting to roll back on me. Okay. See a lot of color blocking. So to me, that would be close to being a beginner, maybe all the color blocking because you only deal with one or two colors. But this one has two ABs and there's 26 colors. The ice cream had 23 colors, one AB, and the Woodland Bear has eight colors and no special drills. So these drills, Let's see. All right, let us take a look, see. And these are very round. I don't see any facets on them. Very round, very smooth. Yep, very smooth. I don't see any facets. They look smooth top. 
but they look very clean. Very nice drills. Here is a, a white and a blue. Very nice. And again, no facets, as you can see. They're very round, very smooth. And one more strip. This one is, it's got a hitchhiker in there. You see the green? Yep, very round. And here's our two ABs. Very pretty. Yeah. So I'm not, don't see the real difference. The drills look the same as Leisure Arts and Diamond Dots Woodland Bear. The drill field, again, it, they look the same exact size. And this is the intermediate. All right, now we got our advanced. This one is called Moth, and I keep wanting to call it a butterfly, guys. It's, it's a moth. And so, yeah, these two these three, this one, this one, and the ice cream all have the same canvas. They all feel exactly the same. The Birdhouse Welcome, the Diamond Dots one, has a much softer can canvas. All right, so let's take a look. And they're all partials. Partial. That's sticky. That's sticky. not sticky. And this one has 20 colors and it has one AB. Let's take a look. And this one supposedly has 13 facet gems. If someone knows what that means, I'm thinking it means the tops of the drills are not going to be smooth. It's going to look like it has sides. And yeah, th these do. These have facets. Let's see if, uh, oh yeah, they are not smooth. This has a lot of sides at the top. You can see it's not smooth. See if you can see that. I don't know. I don't know if you can see it too well on camera. Let's try that. But this, these are not smooth on the top. So, Whereas the other ones are, I think the um, Woodland Bear was faceted. Yeah, these are all faceted. So 
So when I think they're easy to see, I'll put them up there. But And here's our AB. So that's the drills. They look all the same, except the Woodland Bear one has got faceted tops. And this one does not. But it has an AB and it looks smooth on the top. And these guys are very smooth. So the toolkits are the same, the exact same toolkit. So the drills were a little bit different, but just they were different in that the top, some of the tops were smooth and some of them had like, it looked like cut sides on the top. They weren't smooth. It had looked like bumps. Now the drill field, let's look at the yellow part so you can see that the best. Not too bad. It doesn't look bad. It looks like if you look at the circle with the dot in the middle, it looks like the same size as that circle with the dot in the middle. Yeah, it really is. Because the same diamonds are going to fit, so they should be the same size. This one, too, has the circle with the dot in the middle. Does this one have it? No. But the drill field is the same size. The only other difference I can think of is the amount of drills being placed. Very few drills on this one because this is a 15, a 6 by 6 inch. This is an 8 by 8 inch, but they're both partials. So if you look at the image, I wish I had something to measure with, but it's not that much bigger. So they're about the same number of drills. This one is a... 13.8 10 by 6 image. So it's going to have more drills. This one is 50.8 40.6. Oh, 20 inch by 16 inch. That's the image size. So that's going to have a lot more drills than even this one. So the only thing I can think of but you can make any picture I would say let me back up if it says beginner or if it says advanced don't be scared of the level of difficulty because it's there's not really a hard level of difficulty listen if you take pair a piece of release paper Cut it in, in half even and do a section this big and just cover it a little section at a time. Break it up into little sections and just work with that section. You can even cut this in half, this image, and do a little section at a time because there's there's color blocking in this, a lot of color blocking, which is where you use the same color for a long period of time. Okay, Confetti is where you're constantly changing it out. So I can see that for expert and advanced, heavier color confetti would mean more advanced because you're changing colors. But if you make it in a small block, 
you can do any section. You can take your time and you're looking and you're going, okay, this section, I just need the ones with the black square in the middle. And then do those. Put those away. Oh, now I need the peas. Take them out and do it and then put it away. And it might take you a little longer, but you're going to have a much bigger picture completed. What an amazing feat that you will have done. So don't, don't be scared if it says advanced or a beginner. Break it down into smaller canvases by using release paper or parchment paper. And when you use parchment paper, make sure you test it in a small corner. Make sure you can lift it up. This parchment paper, I can use either side and it's fine. So just make sure your parchment paper doesn't have wax on one side. Okay. But if you use Diamond Art Club's reverse uh, release paper, you can use either side. You don't have to worry. So basically, I, I don't see the difference. I guess I should have I should ask someone who does not do diamond art what they feel the different categories of difficulties, different level of difficulties, if it matters to them. But I really think you shouldn't limit yourself to these if you're a beginner. Go ahead and give these a try and this a try. Yeah, any of them, the ice cream, any of them. You can make any large picture into smaller squares. When I do a large one, I do small sections at a time myself. So I don't, I don't leave this all exposed. I do a little at a time so that I don't get overwhelmed. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Put, in my, put it in the comments if you think the level of difficulties is a good thing to put on these boxes or if people should not be afraid of trying an expert or an, uh, slash advanced canvas. You can always pick up a smaller one just so you have a small project on hand. Thank you for watching. Have a great night. Bye.